Lilith's room yet? sent directly into someone's brain. This is all highly unlikely. Please don't hurt yourself trying to understand. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from impossible nonsense. On you go. of a psycho. Usually something rusty and sharp. But what about their thoughts? Their memories? Their dreams? I have studied the psychos of Pandora for decades, and I believe they all share something in common. A single idea so powerful that it breaks any mind that contains it. I call it Valhalla. This is Krieg. He's a Crimson Raider, a friend, and most importantly for today, a psycho. Say hello, Krieg. Maggots wriggling down into the fester! Communication is not his strong suit, but yours wouldn't be either if your mind looked like his. As such, in order to get answers, we must seek them out ourselves. What is the origin of a psycho? What lies within Valhalla? We are about to find out. Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. This is the mind of a vicious predator. Now as I may have to say, I do not usually do that. Why? What do you see? Welcome. <laughs> War for the little flies who fester in the crime! Ah, this tracks. Fear not, Tannis. This is it. Wonderful. Never question me again. Now, see if you can make contact with Krieg's inner consciousness. We must find Valhalla. <laughs> Slavering jawbones ring fury across the trembling maw. Barrels of gore lie built upon the slaking ground. <laughs> Show me your 
your ferocity! Back in the nail, grinding wounds, grinding horn, a shining hope! Time to fight! I'm not gonna survive my friend here's welcoming party, but I've got a place we can talk. Come on in. I'm just on the other side. But back and forth cutting where the good work is. Backing for the withered spit. Find a way to pass the time. I've got a joke. Ready? Perversion diversion! Okay, here goes. Why did the skag cross the road? Give chase! They scatter at my shadow! Disembowel! A belly full of coals! We feast! There aren't any skags, it's a joke. Phantoms hunt? Right, imaginary. Like, like a story. Why did the skag cross the road? My shadow feeds! <sighs> out. My deposit is writ on a parchment of skin. Yes, I understand you, but I don't always 
We understand you. You get what I'm saying? Someone watches from the window. Will the boy come out and play? What do you mean? I'm not too serious. Am I? Home, I guess. I'm not, um, really used to having guests around here. Who are you? I am known as Flack. And if you are not Krieg, then who are you? Well, I'm also Krieg. At least, I'm the part that remembers how to be more than a screaming murder machine. How did you even get in here? Tanner sent me on this strange journey to discover what causes psychos to be psychos. She calls it Vault Hala. Tannis, huh? Should have guessed. As for what makes the madman mad, I've wondered that myself. But I don't think he wants me to know. See that? If your so called Vault Hala is anywhere, that's where it'll be. He's kept me out of there for as long as I can remember. Maybe you can sneak in, though. Worth a shot. I'm a palindrome! Easy, man. They're just looking around. Slice you through the ears! Yeah, yeah, we've got it, you drama queen. Uh, what I wouldn't give to be rid of this guy. You're my own saucy amputation! Good, we're on the same page. Maybe I'll just leave with the Vault Hunter. I doubt that is an option. Think about it. If Tannis can get you in here, she can probably get me out, right? Maybe put me in, like, a robot body? That'd be cool. At this point, though, as long as I don't have to deal with this guy anymore, I'd settle for being a lump in a mayonnaise jar. Hmm. Tannis, can you do that? Oh, absolutely. You can store a human mind on a memory card the size of a postage stamp. I have a drawer full. But, as requested, I will track down a mayonnaise jar. Hey, you hear that, man? All you gotta do is open up the door to Vault Hollow for our guest, and then you get what you always wanted. Me out of here. For good. Cut the chain link to razor ribbons. Let's dance the blades. <laughs> Sounds like he's just as excited to be rid of me as I am to leave. All right, man. Where are the keys? Ruins astray! What do you mean you lost them? Of course. Look who I'm talking to. Polish the chalice! Shine a spittoon! Make mirrors of monsters! Okay. He's saying we gotta go through his... my... our brain, and find the parts of this statue. We need a buzz axe, a gauntlet, and a mask. <laughs> the screaming can opener! Ah, an orb. What is its purpose? Chase the meaty man! Give the baby its milk bone. Huh. That's an old memory through there. Or at least it was before this guy had his way with it. Hope you're up for some weird stuff, Vault Hunter. <laughs> All right, man. What's first on this little scavenger hunt of yours? The judge's gavel! You heard him. The statue's buzz axe is in there somewhere. Let's go get it.
Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Hey, I remember this. Lilith sent us on a mission to assault a COV stronghold. Listen, you're probably in for a pretty violent ride here. You should gear up. There's a chest over there. Check it out. Starving for the butcher's call! <laughs> He's excited to get that buzz axe. Tanners, will this, ahem, sweet loot still function in the real space? Oh yes, they will remain perfectly functional, so long as you constantly concentrate on unbelieving in their non-impermanent anti-existence, naturally. In fact, considering the Psycho's fixation on war, I would expect Vault Hala to be brimming with all sorts of weaponry. Something to look forward to. Well, guess we'd better get to it. Go on, no point in turning back now. Let's find that buzz axe. Calamitous slaughter! Dive into the marrow and lick the wounds clean! I understand, Krieg. Well, to be frank, nothing you say makes direct sense. Your speech is erratic and essentially incomprehensible. But what I meant to say is, we are alike in a finite number of ways which allows me to connect with who you are. We are both comfortable with solitude. We both speak our minds in a way that others may find off-putting. And that concludes the list. To my own surprise, I even find myself admiring you. So you see, Craig, I do not understand a word you say, but I do understand you. We bind our bloody hands together for eternity. Bullets and bombs. Have some money. Now, why not? To use an archaic definition of the word awesome. Awesome. Okay, this is exactly what I was talking about. You are the worst. You're letting our mind go to shambles. Look at this place, it's a mess. Butchery for juicy weasels! <laughs> you and I have very different ideas of fun, man. Oh, rip the organs from their flesh pockets! Okay, he's really excited to start looking for that buzz axe. Let him know when you're ready to go. Flesh horn! The flesh horn must blow! Yes, yes, I see. The flesh horn. Of course. It's so obvious. Really, man? Blow the flesh horn? You do know how that sounds, don't you? Ah! Lilith sent the Crimson Raiders on a number of missions, but I do not recall them being so meat-centric. Alas, such is the fleeting nature of memory. Did you know that our minds reconstruct our memories each time we recall them? Much like children playing echo phone, whispering messages into each other's ears, the memory distorts itself with every recollection. It seems the mind of a psycho amplifies that distortion to the nth degree. When she came. Huh? <laughs> 
about Krieg's memories. There must be some significance that merits this repetition. Help me extract instances of this pattern so I may study it. I've sent a series of probes. Be advised, their powers are limited. You will need to act quickly to collect the data. Thickety, thickety. I did stress how imperative it is that we collect this data, did I not, Vault Hunter? Please try again. Die. Thickety. Spikety. Die. Spikety, thickety, die. Curious. Curious indeed. Is this a phonetic code, perhaps, or the start of a recipe? I am afraid I will need the complete pattern before I can form a hypothesis. Into the firefight! Your path ends here. Death, do you see me?
as well get this over with. Wouldn't stick around if I were you. Nobody else does. Can't really blame him. I wouldn't want to be around me either. You should go. I cannot abandon a creature in pain. Better keep your distance if you don't want to get hurt. Just go! I don't want to hurt you! Then may I recommend not blowing up? Blowing up is all I know. Besides, who wants to get close to this? People aren't lining up to reach out and stop me. No. Bad. No. What am I even doing here? What's the point if nothing changes? Do you have any idea what that's like? Death calls to us all, friend. It is a potent lure. We search for answers, find none, and begin to consider the void. But after years of working in the Archives, I learned a thing isn't beautiful because you understand it, but because you do not. We must live, and learn to find joy in the hunt for answers, not the answers themselves. Huh. Thanks. I'm gonna head out. I've got a lot on my mind. Must be the um, flesh horn. Spice up the fricassee! <laughs> Looks like he's giving you the honors. Now to see if the castle returns the call. <laughs> Rivers of viscera and slug rot! Assault the meat castle! Rip it from the sea! Time to take the battle to them. <laughs> Spike through their eyes and nails through their tongues. Well, naturally.
was for treasure I see. Is it always war with you? Cast into the hungry game where sits a seesaw when there is only one side. Your trousers are soiled like mine. I am not like you. They shall lament this day. Now 
out, little friend. Shatter! Shatter and siege! Indeed, friend Creek. Indeed. Yeah, I remember now. We used the COV's own weapons against them to breach the fortress gate. Find the catapults, Vault Hunter. I'm not sure why this mission is important to us. I guess it was the first time we'd fought with the Crimson Raiders in a while, but otherwise, it was pretty uneventful. our goals. Then again, I do not imagine that slaughtering yet more children of the vault will pose a problem, you mouth-watering force of nature, you. Maurice has been giving me morale-building lessons. I hope I am doing it right. Into the fray!
Defense is noted. Looks like we have to spin this baby around. All right then. Fire at will, Vault Hunter. Pointed darts upon the score! Delightful. I love a good arcing trajectory. More dredging for the clank damn stone! That gate's gonna need another shot before it falls. At Hyperion, we know you have a choice when it comes to guns. We just want to save them. to reclassify you as a skag. Ah! <laughs> he said you're a skag, dog!
not allow a brigand of substandard intelligence into the Crimson Raiders. Perfunctory. Yeah, I'm married to a bird. Whoa, calm down, man. This obviously isn't real. Don't start a fight. I am the crusher of whipcrack lacerations! <laughs> Can this indubitable barbarian even procure language? <laughs> yeah! Learn to talk, dumbass! Let us bludgeon him! Ubiquitous! Throw and kill! Just launch this corrosive oaf at the gate. No! The coroner wants the full stock! Gargantuan! He needs to be bigger, huh? I guess we can feed him. Uh, see if you guys can find some skags nearby. These guys will eat anything. Fascinating. Creek seems to have internalized his fears of being rejected by his fellow Crimson Raiders. I can relate to that myself. I often suspect that people are intimidated by my superior intellect. But I content myself with the fact that I simply do not care. There is another clue nearby that could help us solve the mystery of the repeating brainwave pattern. We are on the verge of a discovery, 
Vault Hunter, but it all depends on that data. I urge you to try again. Out. The. Lord. And. Lord. Not bad, Vault Hunter. Just disappointed. I know you can do better. Please try again. Out. I. The. Skag. The Skag clawed out an eye. Clawed, past tense, a single eye. Hm. My immediate question is, why not both? <clears throat> this is intriguing, Vault Hunter. Please continue searching for more data, Vault Hunter. I like your enthusiasm, beast. Thought that might wake him up. Ah, wreckage! No, not yet. I think we can do a little more damage with this one. Blast rods for the Zed Men! I was just thinking the same thing. Let's find some dynamite. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Wow! <laughs> Castrate the sheep! Well, down the hatch. Or in the hatch, anyway. Man, this guy can 
seriously through anything. He's ready. Launch him. Bon voyage! Our improvised projectile was not enough. The gate still stands. Uh, Hold doom from the pin fleck high rise! Dude, you can't shoot down the moon. Crack the shell with a hard place! Okay, you heard the man. Shoot down the moon. I have dreamed of this day. The great celestial hunt begins. Admit when I was wrong. Go pick up the moon. Well, this is just beyond the pale. Get it? Because the moon is. No, you know what? If you do not get it, you do not deserve to get it. Now, please carry on. <laughs> Bloodlust beast. Now, get to that last catapult. Have fun, Rock. together. up to a spit of meat.
There are more pleasant methods. some loot.
Go on, get the catapult ready. Aim it and crank it. Now crank! Funny word. I guess we load it up with the moon. Ah, the night comes! Do it. The gate has fallen. The time has come to storm the castle of meat and gold. Good. The sooner we get that buzz axe, the sooner I can get out of this madhouse. <clears throat> I didn't realize how bad it's gotten around here. It's really twisted things up. Rick and Mordecai are our friends. Try alone, little monkey! He assumes the worst in people. Maybe it's easier to think everyone's an enemy than accept that we actually have friends. Wondering about this. Well, the teeth are dull, the motor's out, and the grip's more cracked than I am. Fact is, it's dead. The other guy wanted to give it a burial. You believe that? Carves a hundred bandits, doesn't bat an eye. But his buzz axe croaks and he goes to pieces. Here. Tear my nails from their bloody bed! It's too painful for him to hang on to it. Just toss it in there, I guess. All right, guess we're done here, so... The pain feast is still raw! Spill the burning words! The mouth meat crackles to scorch their hearts! He's making less sense than usual. Perhaps he's mad with grief. And madness. <sighs> he wants you to give a eulogy. Speaking for the dead is not my strong suit, but I will make an attempt. I have seen many buzz axes that yet had life, caught in the grips of those who had none. I have always seen this as a sign of weakness on both the part of the Buzz Axe and the one holding it. It is far rarer to outlive one's weapon in this world. It shows commitment, courage, care. Above all, it shows... 
Hmm? Don't just stand there, Vault Hunter. Do something. And so we commit your remains to the shallow earth. Farewell, Buzzax. Yeah, you've lost your eulogy privileges. Forever. I'm gonna let the other guy take it from here. How her teeth gleamed in the roaring dark of their throats. How she squealed to sing their red melodies. Now my bloody puppet's bleak strings are cut. This thing actually meant a lot to him. To us. Kept us alive through everything. I guess a funeral's the least we can do. Nothing left but to bury it now. Go ahead. Now you can slaughter the sleeping silence without me. You know, this place is crazy at the best of times. If saying some words over a hole helps make sense of anything, maybe it's worth it. Anyway, thanks for your help. still alive. I was hoping you'd be rotting by now, but you even screwed that up. Who comes to spit thorns? Never send an animal to do a human's work. Nice weather. Isn't it? Kind of on the warm side. Yep. It's actually pretty damn hot, if I'm being honest. How hot is it? It's so hot, it's, I don't know, really uncomfortable. 
Well, better get used to it. I can't imagine things will get colder anytime soon. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Just a sudden miraculous blast of cold? Uh, too bad it'll never happen. Damn, it's cold! Yeah, seriously? Who's the jackass who messed with the AC? Apologies. I had been led to believe humans dislike being on fire. Can you believe this? Well, don't just stand there. Turn the heat on! Do you always just show up in occupied rooms and cool people off like you on the place? <clears throat> Maybe if we wanted to be <clears throat> cold, we'd have cold. <clears throat> per your request, you're on fire. <sighs> much better. So much better. Kinda hot, though. Right?
more! Well, the skag ate well. The skag may be the key to understanding this puzzle. It is clearly a metaphor, but for what? I must understand the full shape of this thing before I can hazard a guess as to its meaning. Just a weapon to be thrown away, Krieg. Too dangerous to be around real people. This isn't how she spoke to us. Ugh, not a boom! An endless blade! <clears throat> You're a beast we let off the leash when we need to destroy something. None of us care if you ever come home again. Trust me, he's worth it. 
your way to die, but I guess I have to put you down myself.
done. What shock thing is next? Come on, it's in here. think they hate us, but you remember what really happened after that mission, right? Clotted gutters! Here, I'll show you. Oh, Cree, there you are. Come on, we're headed to Moxie's. Next round's on me. Yeah! You ain't gonna wanna miss this. Me and Mr. Tard are gonna arm wrestle. Last time, we broke the tape. <laughs> I got 20 on brick. You want some of that action, buddy? I wanted to say thank you, to let them know they'd made me feel at home, and I'd never be able to repay them for that. But what I said was... Straight through the anus! <laughs> Hell yeah! I love this guy! Yeah, classic Creed. Hope we see you there, Creed. <laughs> you remember now? They see more than the bloodshed. They see who we really are. Fragile things. Good. We got what we needed. Let's head back. Hmm. A hunt with a bounty. That would buy a lot of chew toys. Man, I'm trying to be more gender inclusive with the way I speak, but some habits are hard to break, man. Ah, oh, shit! Do these goggles make me look cool? Why do I even ask? Of course they do. There's a place you're born, and a place you call home. My home is wherever the B-team is. Don't ask me, Stone. Brick is the brains of the operation. Psst. Duh. Obviously. Good to see you, Slab. Wait, you're not technically a Slab, are you? Oh, man. Who cares? All my favorite people are slabs. All of y'all are slabs now. Says me, Brick, Slab King. Hell yeah. Good man Krieg is a finer fellow than even I. Nay, I'd say it truly. The more he won't admit this, but. I think he's always been a little uneasy around Creed. Probably just cause Creed tried to eat talent once, though. Conviviently, for the noblest one. I call the shots, you do the shooting. Or stabbing, or exploding. I'm not telling you how to do your job. Just remember, we're doing this to protect the innocent people of Pandora. All, you know, three of them. I'm almost certain I know how to fly a ship. I just need the opportunity to prove it. If you're going to sing... Go on and give the buzz axe back to the statue. Ah! Splitter for the gargantuan! Kill the ship! <laughs> 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 
One step closer to Vault Hala, one step closer to freedom. What's next, the gauntlet? And what fresh madness are we gonna have to survive to find it? More! More soon, gut! I've sent an additional probe to that region of Krieg's mind, so we can track our progress in unlocking the mystery of the repeating brainwave pattern. Feel free to check it out. Come on in. 